Hi, this is Don. I wanted to show you how to do Darcy's example in Module 7 to Discussion 1 on um, goodness of fit. And I've already loaded the data in that she gave in the problem, observed uh, the baseball cards 50, 45, and 5, the expected percentages 30, 60, and 10, and we want to calculate the number of expected. And we can do that, of course, in your head with these simple you know, uh, numbers, which since n is 100. But if you had a more complicated set of numbers, we'll use the data and compute expression capability. And uh, what I want to do in here is type in the expression I want. In this case, I'm going to go with 100, which is the n, times E X P E C T E D percent. That's the data that's in the expected percent column. I want to label my output E X P E C T E D and counts. So I'm going to go hit compute. Compute. There we go. And we've entered a new column that show these expected counts of 30, 60, and 90. Okay, so now we've got that data. We go to stat and we look down for goodness of fit, chi-square, chi-square, excuse me, and it asks us for the observed column, which we have there the observed, and the expected column would be the expected counts, and we don't need to worry about the where and group by right now, and we do want it to, expl to display the expected values. So I hit compute and I get this answer here. Here's the table of observed and expected values which Darcy showed in her manual calculation how to get those. And from those numbers you can manually calculate the chi-square statistic of 19.58 which I think that's what she got, yes. And StatCrunch goes ahead and gives us the p-value which shows that it's less than 0 0.0001. So it solved the problem for us. Again, this just to show you how you can do it using StatCrunch uh, instead of doing it manually.